Dear researchers, dear colleagues, I hope you are doing well. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am Nadia Mansour, a doctor uh, and uh, assistant at the University of Sousse, uh, Tunisia, and visiting researcher at the University of Salamanca, Spain. My presentation, entitled Financial Technology, FinTech, presented at the International Conference Innovation in Qualitative and Quantitative Research. So the plan is made up of six parts. Introduction, what's Fantech, Fantech Evolution, Fantech Universe, Fantech and the New Business Models, and uh, RegTech. So Chinese company and financial has raised a record $14 billion in funding to enable it to roll out its Alipay payment application internationally and to prepare its uh, APO. This example shows the rise of new fintech players in the financial market. This mega fundraising illustrates the importance of fintech startups, which thanks to technological and disruptive innovations have been shaking up the financial market for the past 20 years. Traditional financial players may be threatened in the medium or long term by these changes. P. So, financial technology, also known as fintech, is an economic industry composed of companies that use technology to make financial services more efficient. Fintech languages, disruption, automation, digitization, and simplification. Fintech offerings reduces costs, increases efficiency, builds client relationships, offers security, and for fintech innovation areas, cloud technology, blockchain technology, tech, financial inclusion, payments, cybersecurity, open banking. So the five stages of uh, evolution of fintech First one, between 1865 and 1966, finance and technology did handshake. Between 1967 and uh, 2008, first digital bank, digitalization, globalization time. Between uh, 2008 and 2014, uh, the global financial crisis. And between 2014-2017, uh, every day a new fintech, and then from 2018 till now, uh, blockchain commercial uh, model for fintech, starting uh, so the real all tech good friends. So you find the most active fintech between 2020 and 2021. So for uh, Fintech Universe, it includes payments, digital banking, investments, crowdfunding, blockchain, answer tech, reg tech. So Fintechs and the new players create innovative business models to transform financial services. Anagnostopoulos 2018 states that Fintech startups are more able to develop business models that are stable for new customer expectations because they uh, disintermediate the traditional bank's formalities and make their services more efficient. Financial customers are at the center of fintech startups business models. The banks are therefore obliged to follow the trend by disrupting their business models in a constant environment. So here uh, an example Overseas money transfer, new business model uses technology for fast international money transfer with a low commission rate. So Fintech is driving bank consolidation by challenging the need for extensive physical branch network, which is significantly changing the business model of all traditional retail banks. Also, open banking was marked a real evolution in deposit banking and has largely allowed the emergence of many non-bank players. With uh, open banking customers, 
sanctioned their financial data with the non-bank players whose features and services provide a better user experience. So the development of fintechs and the arrival of advanced mobile technologies have transformed the way consumers approach payments. So the entry of fintech startups into the payment market, technological innovation in payment methods, the growth of e-commerce and the new process in international payments have created significant disruption. So we can say banking is necessary, but banks are not. And banking is better with fintech, with money deposits, with uh, checking and saving account management, applying for financial products, loan management, bill pay. So the development of fintech has posed several challenges for financial market regulators. Thus, financial sector regulators must find the right balance between the risks associated with fintech and allowing innovation to flourish within the financial sector. So there are three stages of development of the reg tech. Uh, the first one between 1967 and 2008, analyzing exchange-based activities. Then between uh, two, uh, 2008 uh, until now, Two stages involving the use of technology to facilitate compliance and uh, approve supervision and regulation. And then RegTech is used to rethink how regulation operates and who is being uh, regulated. So the question is how RegTech help? One, reduce the cost of compliance to sustainable solutions, three, advanced data analytics, and for risk and control conversion. So it's uh, essential now to talk about the COVID-19 and the banking sector. With unprecedented changes, the COVID-19 pandemic is causing the FinTech Futures team is here to help the market navigate today's challenging business landscape. The crisis confirms the need for banks to combine physical proximity and digital offerings. The World Bank and the Comprehensive Center for Alternative Finance have just released a global study examining the impact of COVID-19 on fintech and the regulation. As finance is one of the most regulated industries in the world, the current crisis has indeed affected the pace of regulatory innovation. This study has shown that the majority of these institutions are increasingly recognizing the benefits of offering from fintechs in this time of economic crisis. So 60% of regulators have seen a sharp increase in the use of products and services offered by fintech since the start of the pandemic, especially for payments and money transfers. Banks have seen their digital business increase by an average of 22%. In the most developed economies, two sectors in this market are seeing a 24% increase in the use of their products and services, onshore tech and wealth tech. So to conclude, the major emerging innovation trends within financial services are increasingly global rather than domestic in nature. For instance, big data, artificial intelligence and blockchain Based solutions are being developed and deployed in different financial markets. Since there is a general trend towards developing these digital solutions, now is the time to consider how to begin building new ways to share experience and manage the questions that emerge. Financial services regulators must reconsider existing ways of working and collaborating in order to balance potential benefits of innovation with the traditional policy objectives, namely financial stability, integrity, financial inclusion, competition and consumer well-being and protection. So thank you for your attention and uh, I hope to uh, meet you again in other scientific events. Good luck and have a great time.